What's up guys, Lloyd here, and today I'm coming at you with a sh very short video on how to get the best gear in the first day of the season. Uh, so today was day one of the PvP season, and PvE season I guess, in the US, and I believe tomorrow is going to be uh, EU's first day as well. So I figured I'd show you guys what I did to get um, my gear already. So I'm very geared, as you can see, I have pretty much best in slots or what you can get for week one. Um, I have my 639 item level weapon. I have my embellished boots. And by the way, my weapon is embellished. I have my two set from both my shoulders and my chest. And then I have two epic pieces from world PVP, which are only three item levels lower than the max uh, conquest gear that you can get. So when you guys log in and you start your season, at least your PvP season, I definitely recommend going down to the uh, the, foreground, the Forge Grounds and picking up all the quests that you see. So your Sparks quest from this guy over here, and then all the PvP quests that you can get in this room as well. All these will, will help you get your Conquest and your Honor gear faster. And also, when you win a skirmish, you win an arena, you win a battleground, you win a blitz or whatever, you get boxes, glorious contender strong boxes and some of the other boxes, I forget the names of them. When you open those boxes in your bags, you will get a quest that I already completed. Uh, and that quest gives you nine forged, what's it called? Forged gladiators heraldries. And with those, you can craft or you can get very close to crafting your conquest weapon. There's also a quest um, for an actual conquest weapon after 2600 conquest, but this one, you can actually get it day one and you can put an embellish on it. So it's absolutely crazy. So uh, that quest will give you nine. So all you need to do is spend a tiny little bit of conquest and buy a single heraldry off this vendor. Uh, the next thing you'll do is you'll take those 10 heraldries to the crafting order station over here uh in Dornegal, i think that's how you say the city or dorn whatever isle of dorn you open this up you go into weapons you go into two-handed you go into swords search and then you click on Al algory competitors great sword uh there's three materials that you can use use the epic ones use the forge gladiators her heraldries and then put in the rest of the materials right here. You can get these from the auction house. After that, you're gonna add, at least for Rhett Paladin, you're gonna add the um, Agari Missive of the Harmonious for versatility and mastery. And then you are going to add the Dark Moon Sigil Ascension um, embellishment to the weapon as well. And by the way, uh, my icy veins guide on all this should be updated tomorrow so don't don't pay attention to the icy veins until at least september 12th um when they do their their nightly uh, update to the website because then then it will be there um so yeah those are the embellished pieces for for your weapon here and then after that after you get fully conquest capped and everything you should have enough conquest to both buy your shoulders right here, which you can then convert to the tier set. And let me show you guys what I did. So I bought my conquest shoulders from the vendor and I brought them down here to this thing. And you can convert at least one piece of gear over. So I converted my conquest shoulders over to the tier set. And some of you are wondering how I have my two set from my, my chest piece as well. The chest piece, when you hit 1600 rating in any bracket, it is going to show up in your mailbox. If you hit 1600, sometimes it does not appear in the mail icon, but it will still be in your mailbox. Grab that token and take it down to Ashkahet, into the main city, um, into Ara Ara City of Echoes. And I believe the vendor, and you won't be able to interact with the vendor until um, you have the token in your bags. So the vendor's right around this area of the um of the city down here and by the way they the npcs for some reason for me they weren't friendly or not all of them were friendly so you definitely need to grab that token and put it in your bag first and then you can talk to the vendor um 
All right, what else? Uh, when you complete your Sparks quest, there is another vendor located back in the PvP area, right over here. Oops, we overshot the doorway. The vendor's located right here. With the war mode gear, it doesn't all, like, it, the item level's good, but the stats aren't great um, for certain pieces. So I opted to get the cloak and the uh, bracers for now. Eventually, I'll make these conquests, uh, but much, much later in the season. And then early on in the season, uh, since we can really only gem socket a certain amount of pieces for red, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your first vicious jeweler setting, which you can see I have in my bag right here, and you are going to apply it to your bracer. And with that on your bracer, you are going to get a, uh, a bloodstone. And right here is where you get these, these um, jewelers from. Uh, the vicious jeweler settings from right here this vendor so on that uh first gem socket you are going to put a algari gem and we want the bloodstone so you're going to come over to the crafting station crafting orders and i placed an order an order for my enduring bloodstone right here but you can also advertise it in trade chat this will give you some more main stat and five percent reduced damage uh during stuns and other crowd controls like fears and stuff so that is how you get uh, best in slot gear on day one. Um, so yeah, that did require me hitting 1600. We, uh, we absolutely blasted. We went 20 wins, three losses. Um, and I believe one of our losses was to a, a team that we definitely could have definitely could have beat. But yeah, not, not too bad, not too bad. Um, I'm trying to think. It was, is there anything else? Yeah, enchants. I mean, guys, don't don't break the bank bank on enchants. Enchants are absolutely um, horrendous right now. If you really want to, the best enchant for your weapon for Rep Paladin is Authority and a Radiant Power Tier Three, but it's like 50, 60k right now. Kind of depends on the market. Um, the other week it was like 135k, so it definitely is going down. Uh, but yeah. All right, guys. Um, oh, wait, did I talk about the second embellished piece? I may have not talked about the second embellished piece. Can't remember, but yeah. You want the writhing band on your boots. Writhing band on your boots. You go to armor, you go to plate, you go to feet, click here, and then you click on um, Algari competitors plate sabatons. You need four of the competitors heraldries. If you bought your gear exactly like I did, um, using the token, the free token for your chest and the conquest for your shoulders, you should have enough leftover conquest to buy four, four heraldries for your boots. And then you are going to throw a writhing band on it. The, um, the embellishment that doubles the effect of your, your weapon here. And by the way, this, um, ascendance embellishment is very good it is very strong so it just rng so over the course of a fight and it rng increases a stat and every eight seconds that stat can change but it also doubles the stat amount given so let me show you guys real quick what it looks like right here pp training dummy you're blasting it and give it a couple seconds of me being in combat here and upper right hand corner, Ascension. I have increased mastery by 178. We're gonna give it a little bit more and it's gonna go to um, another stack here. Now I have two stacks. Now my uh, hastiness increased by 356. And then we let it keep going. And what are we gonna get next? We have three stacks here of crit for 538 and it just keeps going and going and going. Um, it's a very, very good embellishment for PVP because at least in arena and BGs, you're almost always in PvP combat. In in Battleground Blitz, it might not be as good, but in arenas, definitely, definitely, because you're always in combat. All right, guys, I've rambled long enough, long enough um, but I hope this helps you guys get into uh, your first, your very first day of the season for Red. All right, peace.